Welcome back to United USA 2020 and beyond. See, I'm sure you guys heard about uh, Trump releasing documents from Russia Gate and uh, Obama Gate. You know um, that that whole situation. Uh, nothing really to talk about until documents are actually released. Even though Trump declassified them. So what do we got here? Well, what we got is a very convenient rollout of the military. What do I mean by convenient? Well, about six, seven months ago, going back to May and June, actually, uh, I probably was talking about it back in March and April, but I remember specifically having a discussion with a couple people, one of my family members, I was saying, wouldn't it be convenient as the vaccines start to roll out in the first month or so, wouldn't it be convenient if they find a reason to activate martial law or roll out the National Guard. I was saying, wouldn't that be convenient and ironic? (laughs) Not a coincidence, that is for damn sure. So what am I saying? Well, what I'm saying is, is anyone who's been following my channel uh, for this year, you'll remember in the summer I talked about Trump passing an executive order mandating that the military handle vaccinations of the public, United States citizens. Well, here we are. I'm, you know, I'm one of those people where I kind of connect the dots. Um, It's one of these situations where it looks pretty damn coincidental, um, too coincidental to ignore. So to me, it looks like it's uh, part of a bigger plan that was already coming they were just trying to find a reason or create a reason. As, as most of us know, what happened at the Capitol, um, we could debate on whether or not it was BLM or Antifa infiltrators or if there were Trump supporters that were acting a fool. I, I think it's all of the above. I definitely think there were antagonizers from other parties, uh, guys like John Sullivan from Insurgents, uh, now also still uh, Antifa BLM protester. Um, a left-wing extremist. Of course, they won't call him a domestic terrorist. Um, All the uh, riots and looting and burning that was going on for months and months. What was it? Seven months it was going on, starting with Minnesota, Chicago, Michigan, uh, Portland, Seattle, Washington. They weren't, the media wasn't calling them domestic terrorists, but they were calling them Oh, look at the peaceful protesters. As you can see, things burning in the background and they got the headline down at the bottom, you know. Peaceful protesters, you know, but people trip out for a certain amount of hours, break some windows and go in the Capitol and all of a sudden they're domestic terrorists. I'm not saying I agree with what those fools did. I don't. I think what they did was stupid at the Capitol. But I also think that there's more than one side to a coin and um, there's more than one explanation. So getting back to this whole situation... So what I think is going on is I think that they were looking for a justification to start to implement martial law. We've already been on martial law, okay? We've already been on martial law. It's been, like I call it, a passive-aggressive martial law, unofficial martial law. But, um, But they want a reason. And now, so it's not just, it's not only the the Capitol in Washington where the National Guard is rolling out, which they said they're going to be, what's the number, 21,000 National Guardsmen and women um, at the Capitol, but also at all the Capitals in the United States. Phoenix, uh, you know, Dallas, Houston, you got all these different uh, cities in in. Um, uh, in Texas, I saw, was it Philadelphia, New York, Los Angeles, you know, Michigan, Chicago, all these different cities where you're seeing the rollout of um, National Guard to, quote, defend the capitals for uh, prevention and anticipation of uh, possible civil unrest uh, for the inauguration on January 20th. Um, something about this whole situation just stinks. Everything that I see... Um, what, what happened to uh, Giuliani? What, what happened to the uh, to the cases uh, with the lawsuits, you know, in the election? Uh, what, whatever happened to that? That just kind of poof, 
disappeared pretty damn quick. Uh, I know somebody's going to hit me up in the comments and be like, dude, they already tried in the Supreme Court. I already know everything. I already know what's going on. I'm just saying, isn't it pretty strange what's happening? I think it is. Anyway, so, um, yeah, my personal opinion, it's not an accident. It is not an accident that all this stuff is happening right now and they're rolling out National Guard. It's very intentional and uh, there definitely is a bigger plan behind it. You can you can take that to the bank, no doubt. And I think as um, the days and, and the weeks transpire, you're going to see that National Guard will most likely still be in place even after the 20th. And, uh, you know, they want to kick off 2021 hmm, with a hop and a skip on the right foot. Uh, so there. Yeah. So this is this is where we're at now, ladies and gents. So think about it. Food for thought. Take into consideration, we shall see how things, you know, transpire over the uh, days and weeks to come. Think outside the box, ladies and gentlemen. A lot going on here. If you start to connect the dots and put it all together, you're going to see that uh, everything that's happening right now with the National Guard has uh, been in play for quite a long time. And um, this is the excuse, in my personal opinion, that they've been looking for to use the same timing of the opportunity to launch National Guard along with the vaccine rollout. I talked about this more than six months ago, and I told people, wouldn't it be convenient and wouldn't it be a coincidence if something happens right around the time the vaccines are rolling out, and essentially that timing comes together. If you also put that, incorporate that with Trump's executive order that uh, uh, mandates that the military will be handling vaccinations, I think that you'll see two plus two. It's pretty damn coincidental. I definitely don't think that it's a coincidence and uh, just uh, some food for thought, something to be aware of. So think about it. If you can dig it, like it, and share it.